Hello, my name is Jane Sharp and I live in a small terrace house on the edge of Barnsley. At the bottom of my garden I have this wonderful shed. It's a space, an 8 by 8 space and uh, I come down here to get creative. As you can see sometimes I paint, um, sometimes I just come and listen to music. On a Friday night we turn the whole place into a disco bar and uh, have a bit of fun. That's my husband and I. Well, sometimes I write too, and uh, I've written a, a poem to put in the message in a bottle. And uh, I, I'd like to sort of enter my whole shed into that bottle as being a wonderful creative space uh, that I can re recommend to anybody to to do the same thing at the bottom of their garden. My poem um, is called On the Breeze There is a Song. It was inspired by a poem I read um, written by Lawrence Ferlinghetti who died recently and uh, I've, I've altered it. It inspired me but it's nothing like his poem. On the breeze there is a song. I'm not waiting for the last rhinoceros to be born. I'm not waiting for the ozone layer to be shot at dawn. I'm not waiting for polar bears to starve on rogue icebergs. I'm not waiting for Attenborough to have the last word. I'm not waiting for Venice to be swallowed by the sea. I'm not waiting for the jungle to vanish tree by tree. I'm definitely not waiting to witness the slaughter. I am the song of my grandmother's daughter. I'm not waiting for politicians to destroy the world. I'm not waiting for ammunitions to be sold like pearls. I'm not waiting to be sent over the top with a gun. I'm not waiting for nuclear bombs to block out the sun. I'm not waiting for another bloody war to be fought. I'm not waiting for kids to learn lessons they've not been taught. I'm definitely not waiting to witness the slaughter. For I am the song of my grandmother's daughter. I'm not waiting for the soldiers of Christ to take control. I'm not waiting for the fallen to try to save my soul. I'm not waiting for books to divine my inspiration. I'm not waiting for a cross to bar my separation. I'm not waiting for love to consume me and spit me out. I'm not waiting for the retribution of the devout. I'm definitely not waiting to witness the slaughter. For I am the song of my grandmother's daughter. I'm not waiting to be transported to a distant star. I'm not waiting to morph into a virgin avatar. I'm not waiting for a quantum leap to a new dimension. I'm not waiting for an out-of-body transcendention. I'm not waiting for déjà vu to show me tomorrow. I'm not waiting for Doctor Who to loan me time's arrow. I'm definitely not waiting to witness the slaughter, for I am the song of my grandmother's daughter. I'm not waiting for quarks or sparks or Socratic remarks. I'm not waiting to embark two by two on the ark. I'm not waiting for the ferry to sail down the river. I'm not waiting for breath to inhabit life forever. I'm not waiting for a rabbit hole extravaganza. I'm not waiting for God to compose the final stanza. I'm definitely not waiting to witness the slaughter, for I am the song of my grandmother's daughter.
I think the poem is quite apt for Mother's Day, for Mothering Sunday. It's also uh, a poem about climate change and and stuff that maybe we should act upon now before it's too late. As you can see, Ian Macmillan always has his beady eye on me. Um, so I hope you're looking at this, Ian. Uh, you, you finally get to see the horrendous portrait I did of you. Um, so thank you for listening to, to my poem and uh, thank you for sharing in the wonderful world of my shed, the art house. Bye.